Hello, my name is Nacho Agovino. I'm the developer advocate at Clerk, and today I'm going to show you the easiest way to set up authentication and user management to your Net.js app. The first thing we need to do is to create an account at clerk.dev. You're going to see this screen, and from here we can create our own application. You have two options here. The standard setup is if you want to add Clerk to an existing application, but since we are doing it from scratch, here you know, use the quick start with Versov. So here we're gonna we're gonna see the screen. We're on number cell right now. I'm gonna see just I'm gonna call it demo video. Here we need to install the Clerk application Cyber Cell. So this will just take a second. Click continue. And then here we can choose a name. It will by default choose the same name. We're gonna choose a brand color. I'm gonna use the default color. And then we just click continue. Then we have to pick a Git provider. I'm going to use GitHub. I'm going to call it my repo demo video. Uh, and what this will do is just in import or starting template to your GitHub repository and also add environment vari variables to Brazil. So we just click deploy. And while this deploys, uh, our Git repository is going to be already created. So as you can see, we just created it, now it just imported it. That's great. So now what we can do is just uh, copy this repository. Uh, I'm gonna clone it on my local machine. I'm gonna open it with VS Code. And then here, the only thing that we need to do is just install with yarn. And the beauty of it is when we've been installing we don't have to set up environment variables ourselves and copy the .m.local file because Clerk automatically fetches it for you on, on from result. So here, when it finishes installing, I'm just going to do yarn dev, which just launches the server. But before that, as you can see, it's setting up result. So do I want to set it up? Yes. On my scope, and this is. And as you can see, it finds the project that, I read, that it's already created on Brazil. I just link to it. It creates the end.m.local file and it launches. And from here, we can go to our local host, yeah, refresh, and now we're seeing our app right now. This is the starting template that we provide. And from here, you already ha can sign in as a new user on your app. So as you can see right now, I can just go and see, hey, now I'm I'm a, I'm a registered user on this app, right? So here, this component we provide for you. So this is not part of the template. This, this is, if you want to do it, use Clerk on any application, you will have this too. This is what your users will see. So they can modify the phone number, they can add more accounts. And all of this, you will see if you go to, to the dashboard on Clerk and you get this app, here you can see your users. As you can see, this is the, all the user I just created. And from here, we can go to the settings and we have different settings that you can modify. So you can change and ask users for the phone number to register. You can also add Facebook authentication. You can require or not usernames and it automatically will change on your app without you having to redeploy. So you have different options here. Also you have theming options in which you can modify your color, uh, your fonts, padding uh, around the corners or not. Also, you have different instances. So anything that I modify on the development instance, it doesn't change the production instance. So you can try different configurations uh, before pushing them live. We can go back to Vercel to see that the project has been successfully deployed. We can go and visit it and we see that demo video of app. it's right here. Then from here, we can see that we can go to the sign-in page. We can go to the, the sign up here, the URL changes. Uh, we can sign up with Google. And then from here, as you can see, for example, on this managed account, I'm on slash user and all of these, uh, pages are managed on the, the template. And here, as you can see on the slash user on the pages, we have this, which is everything is managed by, by us. So this whole user profile that I'm showing that I'm showing you here, it's Everything is built by us, but it's also customizable. Uh, here, the same thing with the sign up and the signing page. If you have any questions or suggestions, we have a community Slack that you can join here 
on the footer of our, of our page. Also, we have a Twitter account at Claire Dev, and you can also contact me on Twitter at Nacho Jacobino, and we, I'll be more than happy to answer any questions. So yeah, I hope you enjoy and thanks for watching.